What's going on, everybody? My name is Austin. You are back, Perk by Gaming, and we are here once again with debt and taxes. So I've got videos going up in the background right now. I wasn't going to record anything until after that because I have a lot of videos put out that were unedited, that sort of thing. Um, but I really, really want to uh, finish this game, so we're going to do that. Uh, I don't need to see the boss right now. It's Gus. All right, um, gotta go to work today. So, luckily, let me continue from my last save point. Oh, yeah! Okay. Oh, wait. It's my coin. All right. Superstar Miguel Salk wins yet another grand tourney trophy. Still hates racing. Racing is super dumb, they say, during the post-interview victory. Local thugs stabbed in gang-related incident. What's up, Tosin? Uh, Slums finally at rest after gang conflict ends through assassination of crime boss and close associates. Jesus. Medical worker escapes sudden death by mysterious means. Ooh. Game developer struggles with getting multi-sensory gaming experience to work. It mostly just feels like your bug trying to over skin. Ugh. Cosmopolis hosting the basketball season final match. Tune in to cheer from the arena or from the home crowd. Okay. I just want shit on my desk. Go away. Okay. <laughs> For your contribution to killing of <laughs> many humans. A whole week already. My, the time flies. Well, more tests straight ahead. I think we are making a difference. So let's continue with what you are doing. Quote of for the day. Three humans have to die. Spare any humans aged between 35 and 60 if possible. Okay. So three have to die. You're not 35 to 60. You are. You are. You are. So it's literally impossible. So you have to die. Sorry, you have to die. It's because you're young. Um, but everybody else is 35 to 60, so I just need to pick. <laughs> I just need to pick two more. We got about a phlebotomist, Trisha Tala Lajos. She's been doing venipunctures for decades, drawing out large quantities of blood, sometimes feeling like a vampire. Later, their health is taking a turn for the worse, making their hands shake. The symptoms they keep ignoring because they keep missing the veins of patients. This is like a hell of a combination, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to let her die because like, she's already got a lot of issues going on. Our man is an extremely menacing person. They used to be an enforcer of war loan shark and constantly looks like they're going to break any and all teacups in the vicinity. This makes their tax collecting rather job rather easy. Motivational speaker nature was not stingy when it came to granting charisma unto Mercury. A true silver tongue, this smooth talker convinced anyone to do almost anything. As such, she found their calling and being a motivational speaker. Recently they've included proselytizing into their over whatever the fuck that means. Engineer and a musician. Part time scholar, part time engineer, and part time musician who delights in building their own musical instruments out of scrap and spare parts. Well, this guy seems like a douche, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him die. Let's see, so that's all three dead, right? Yeah. So you get to live. And you get to live. Alright. Grim. Ah, yes, there you are. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, now, listen up. <clears throat> okay. Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately, and all that. Perfect. However, an emergency has occurred which requires my utmost attention, and I must depart for a couple of days. So I'll report to you. Yes, straight to the point. While I am gone, another will be in charge. Okay. Even though you passed the evaluation, I cannot leave you without any supervision. Right. You will have more freedom, sure, but it is not limitless. Fair enough. 
Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports as usual. I will be informed of your progress. Quite so. And you are already acquainted. You will report to Lady Poddington. Oh, I love it! <laughs> God, Lady Poddington, I will do my utmost. What is that? Whoops. Alright, that's work. Look at my death token. All right. Join Mercury on the path of glory, a commune for those who seek the revelation. Cosmopolis City to miss out on incredible amounts of taxes this year as people keep buying their finances under mattresses and inside hollowed out legs of tables. Decap Bell seemingly on the rise. <laughs> <laughs> Promising young athlete dead in a bus and car collision after the latest match. Dr. Find unknown enzyme composite the body of a dead athlete. Active samples could have led to new medical territories. Where are the bees disappearing? Harvest festival starts in a few weeks. Bring your largest vegetables to the contest. Farmer with the biggest vegetable gets a big cash prize. Okay. Three plants have to die. Three plants? <laughs> what? Okay. Oh. Die. 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 Perfect. Plants aren't really my department, Lady Poddington, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> it's so cute. Cat says my table very serious and official, like ignoring your presence. Oh my god, they're just so incredibly cute and fluffy! So the cat turns her head towards you, her eyes blazing with annoyance. <laughs> Puts her paw up on some documents laying the table. Cat repeats the <laughs> of contented meow. Then curls back in a ball and closes her eyes. Um, uh, that was my gerbil. Well, this was useful. <coughs> Alright. <laughs> it's my gerbil. Back to work. I guess. Scared me though. That's good. City Council brainstorms the turn Cosmopolis City Green after la last blade of grass in the city found wiltered, wilted near a sidewalk. Bees on the verge of extinction again. Ongoing conflicts find no resolution as peace talks stall. Many people hospital after poisoning cow's milk. The Harvest Festival continues first prize for a local pumpkin farmer. The prize will help us repair the flood damages and keep our business afloat. Doors of match fixing in the boxing stains garner and Mr. Pump. Okay. Two humans have to die. Huh. All right, we're back to normal. The plant department got their act together, and you, you however, should be in intimately familiar with the drill by now. Okay, humans. Two humans have to die. All right. We got a podcaster, Christoph, the infant footprints host a religion themed podcast. Stop trying to be a jerk together with a pal. A chuckle through life, an odd joke always ready to be thrown in a moment. But. Uh, when not podcasting, there's secretly a wrestler, a wrestler under the ring name Bonergis. His agent of the Bureau of Agricultural Espionage has always wanted to be a bodyguard for the president, as they have extensive experience in safeguarding the well-being of crops in other flora. They want to even play double agent for two contestant potato magnates. Uh, pugilist. Ryman sings like a scorpion and floats like a dandelion scene. A true working class hero with a dreadful career has 25 wins, zero losses. They're known for a relentless fighting style that incorporates exceptional dodging capabilities, and lately it's been growing harder to get new fights and money is getting tight. 
Samuel is an editor with a tragic past, one they've always hit themselves. Every day it gnaws at them, causing intense sorrow that can never be alleviated. To numb it all, they become addicted to painkillers, often cause them to hallucinate mythological things. Well, that's a health risk. You're gonna die. Um, you look like I have a lot of brain damage. So we're gonna let you die. more or less pleased. Cliff now toward the door with her head makes it clear she'll be leaving. Okay. I'm gonna buy some stuff and things. Ah, perhaps she require a delightful gift for a significant friend. Lethe and Obliviator. To remove grievous mistakes. Oh, only use one use only though. Yeah. Okay. I kinda like all of them to be honest. Go to Cape. My, tis a true classic! Is it? See me and me crew were sailing round the side polar terminus, freezing our nuts off. Blinding storms, icy blizzards. Them some ruthless times. <laughs> dog eat dog, they say. Or pirates eat pirates, more like. Got lucky to find a whole field of tundra cotton when we did. Made some cloaks to keep the bones warm. Much too warm nowadays, though. So you're more than welcome to it. Shiver me timbers. Tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details. But since you wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> All right. The device has immense power. Ye turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. Avast, this tale is beyond reproach. We were sailing the high seas when we found a shipwreck Full of these off the coast of the wild wakes. It has power to erase even the most dreadful of mistakes. Used it to erase one of my risky love letters. And you know what? Never heard from the love interest again. <laughs> Amazing little thing. Alright. I'll hold all my money, but you know what? I'll give it to you. Check out the capes. All oh, alone, yes. Reaper. Power at your fingertips. It's electrifying. Electrifying? On your own. You know why? Because they're setting you up. They trust my abilities. They're hoping you'll mess up. I won't. And you will. Because you're a fraud. Eat the blame, Reaper. You can eat something. You don't have what it takes to succeed. You're a void. That's rude. You're just trying to rattle me. <laughs> I am. Keeping you on your toes, right? It's necessary. Eyes like a lighthouse, Reaper. Watch your back. Be seeing you. Oh. <laughs> Alright, good.
I love it. All right. Ah, your hands will become mightily busy today. Mightily? Mighty busy today. What the darn have you been up to over at the office? From what I can see, in the day-to-day, it looks like a proper mess. A total of seven humans have to die. At least two humans with a religious background and spare any retired people if possible. Okay. Why is this red? Okay, Graham, yes. You, listen up. Why are you such a tool? See, it's just going over all the profiles like a mileage drone. Time to break the rules. I want you to do all the profiles today. All of them. Prove you're not completely useless. No. Alright. Um, two with religious background. So let me find religious background. Okay. Die. Religious background. Oh, damn. Well, good thing I bought the fucking thing. <laughs> Alright, so you're retired, so I don't want to kill you. You're a student. You, you're gonna die. Hey, you're gonna die? Wait. Maybe not, you may be retired. So we have three dying. Four. Six, seven. Okay. Everybody else needs to live. Okay. Done. As you went through, you see the cat pee. Bent for paws in the air, I was trying to pass something invisible. All of a sudden, turns her attention to you, a devious glimmer in her eyes. Kate continues to stare, tail waggling in a manner that seems pleased. Today went well. I think I even feel a bit proud. Lady Poddington looks and sits in silence, an accusatory look in her eyes. What do you think I caused? Well, no, hey now, I'm not to blame. What can I have caused this? I'll do what I'm told. Her head to the right. Don't give me that look, I'm a good worker. I have, con I have to contact fate, I need answers. Not nice. <laughs> Just dumb. Yes. Back to work. Oh, good boy. Astro and Astro found in the path of glory. Commune after police raid, drug overdose suspected. Map suicides at the path of glory. Terror coming dead by what looks like an overdose at the behest of Dota Speaker and cult leader Mercury St. Ionis. And the ship sails, drunk captain crashes straight into coastal rocks and drink many. Unknown mascot struck dead by lightning in the middle of the day. Same officials confused. Cozy Bohemian Waffle House gaining popularity. Go check it out. Okay. The world is a wondrous thing. Oh, what I have seen out here. Now it's trying to balance out the turmoil of yesterday. So this can be forged with a handful of deaths, yes? Burying humans with a law background. Okay. We have to die. Okay, so three have to die. You're a bad person. Uh, that's kind of law, I guess. Um, you don't have any law background. You don't have a law background.
Kinda seems to be in slumber. Occasionally emanating a soft snore like purr. Ah! I can't, still can't believe how fluffy you are! <laughs> I wanna pet you, cat. Lifts her head, her stare fierce, making it seem like petting her would be one extremely bad idea. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe not. Let's get back to business. <laughs> oh, man. The cat continues inspecting documents for a few seconds and turns away, saying, Please. Great, I'll be off now. I don't even want to talk to the cat. It's mean. Let power go to Ted. He'd be cute. Now it's just mean. Back to work. Traffic collision on the Western Hold Motorway claims the life of scientists to others to survive injuries. Police officer finally arrested for spousal abuse. Oh man. It's a travesty. This arrest took so long. The department's been covering for Officer Coffin for years. Cleric Saul's murder catch a serial killer in hot air balloon. Put a spy under investigation after leak of record report records on the Quillon and Hoodfield. Um Here's a paw. Um, you would happen to know what happened to my files. I thought we were friends, cat. Hello? Hello? Lady Poddington. Is Grim there? <coughs> oh, goodness. Grim, I heard that. I understand the job can be stressful that these decisions do not come lightly. But you cannot let everybody live. Such actions will have serious consequences, even if you cannot foresee them. That is what I am for. Trust me, it will be for the benefit of everyone. Understood? What? Could you repeat that? All I hear is static. Uh... No matter. You know what the job entails, Grim. I implore you to take it seriously. The world needs to stay was in it equilibrium. My fault, boss! It was your cat! I do hope we will not have to repeat this discussion in the future. Think before you act. That is all. I really don't like this cat. How about it? Is it open? It is. Oh, hello. I need a drink. Why, hello again. The den is always glad to see a returning customer. Two weeks down and you're still kicking. Well done. Say, uh... See, I've been thinking and, uh... I was hoping you'd explain it to me. The process. I mean, how do you make the choices? How do you really decide who gets to live and who doesn't? I feel like never looks suspicious. <laughs> huh. well, that doesn't seem reasonable. Don't you have specific rules and quotas you gotta fill? I'm pretty sure there are distinct <laughs> guidelines you're supposed to follow. Self-assertion is fine up to a point, less so when many people depend on you. Do you think about the people after you've made the decision 
Or do you forget all about them after it's done? That's all I wish I did to be about Heck, now. that's bleak. You've lost the connection with humanity. Yep. Doesn't all of it make you... anxious? Nope. Sure makes me, and I ain't even the one choosing. Yeah, I don't think I can handle the pressure. Gazing upon the decision tree. How it branches out across infinity. Across space and time. Anyway, this has been enlightening. Thanks for the answers. Anything I can get you? Fate's cat? She's an adorable furball, ain't she? Always no. skulking around in search of mischief. She sneaks down here, too, so I feed her a few morsels. How could you not? Those big eyes, that fluffy fur. She's a real softy. No. It's nice she keeps fate company. Fate's archaic. All those aeons might not be good for the, you know, mentality. I hate the cat. What else you got in mind? Sure, what's your poison? <laughs> Be a corpse revival. <laughs> if you uh, value your sanity, you don't ever want to learn the ingredients of this cocktail. That's fine. A burst of liquid lightning blasts through your nervous system. If you had one, that is, but you don't. Every bone begins to vibrate. Vibration builds in your feedback loop until it feels like you might shatter at any moment. It's but a trick of the mind, and soon it baits. Au revoir, little reaper. I don't like being called little reaper. I want to talk to this this dude. <laughs> Accentuate the morphological field. Uh oh, some reclassification of the framing stratum. Ah, I should have known. <laughs> Scaffolding of the antediluvian complex. <laughs> oh. Maybe. Ah. Uh, meta resonance trigger. I'm the strange one, am I? <laughs> Fairly put, I suppose. I like this guy. I am the prime curator of the Abysmal Archive. The archive of all existence. Or the bits I've managed to catalog thus far. Did you know there is a lot of existence? More than you are able to conceive. Ah, yet I see promise in you, Spawnling. So, let me tell you a secret. You see, the Archive sprouts a mind. Eons ago, incomprehensible to most. Okay. Those were the days. We were so young then, Fate and I. Two strapping lads. There was little in the archive initially, but it didn't take long for it to start growing. Expanding. Until it achieved awareness of a sort. A consciousness. But not a kind you'll easily recognize and engage with. We couldn't foresee this happening, the awakening of the Archive. Its development into a unique... organism. Can it escape? Escape where? Into itself? The Archive can't move. It is itself a space and a time. A convergence of knowledge. How does one navigate dark? Carefully. <laughs> Alright, motherfucker. It wouldn't be wise to stumble into the archive without an escort who understands the territory. Space folds, becoming labyrinthine. One can get lost. I know, I've misplaced a few interns in this manner. <laughs> Poor sods. Although no one knows what happens to the disappeared, they may not be dead. Well, any more dead than one already is in this office. Alas, visitations are limited to professional archivists only. Oh. Ah, it calls to me, so I must return. I hope you enjoyed our talk. It was great.
This guy seems sad. <sighs> yes? I'm spotting number four, too. What's your name? The name is Frank Whittle. Let's nice meet you, Frank. I said Frank, not Frank. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Please meet you, Frank! I'm uh, pleased to meet you, too. Uh. Do you know about the butterfly effect? Yes. Well, what if. Well, what if I'm that butterfly? Hey? Haphazardly fluttering around and, and then millions of souls perish in anguish. I really don't think that's how it works. Oh, you're not listening. Just like everyone else. I don't want that on my conscience. I can't handle it. And that, that's the least of our problems. Last week, someone put my stapler in a large jar of strawberry jelly. Yeah, no, I couldn't believe it either. I was outright flabbergasted. Yeah. And that's still not all of it. Last month, I had to work in the dog department. Oh, no. But I love dogs. No, not the dogs. I know, right? Oh. And the people in the dog department, the absolute bad apples. I was scared for the afterlife. I was. But you know, before that, someone filled my room with balloons. Oh yes, they do. I have an inkling it's the one they call Lance Thrasher. Oh, thanks. Huh. I guess I needed that. I got you, Frank. But other people, oh, they just keep telling me how great Lance Thrasher is. How fun they are to hang out with. How awesome they are. How amazing. How they tell the best jokes and get into the craziest shenanigans. They immediately sound exhausted. Yes, right? I don't get it either. So, I thought I had to let them know. Oh no. I walked straight over to Lance and I told them that I don't find them riveting and I don't particularly care about their lame jokes. Then what happened? But then Lance just said, keep it real, and then went on to do a handstand <laughs> on their desk. That's ridiculous. Everyone in the office started chanting their name. Lance, 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 Lance. An absolute tool. After this, they started making my life miserable. What do you? Why do you think it's that? The culprit keeps writing. Thrasher was here on everything, with a marker. That's ridiculous. So, problem solver, what do you think? What should I do? You can't stoop to her level. You must be the one to balance it out. Uh, I guess you're right. I am Frank Whittle, after all. You're damn right you are. <coughs> I must stay true to myself. Absolutely. Still, I will leave a strongly worded note on their desk expressing my discontent. I'll start working on it right away. <laughs> Thanks. No problem, Frank. Uh... Grim day, I get it. Alright. Better file. Holy Jesus! But to my office for your points review after you are done today. Do not worry about that right now, though. Focus on task at hand. Six humans have to die. Edward Lee, the transportation industry has to die. He's going on the left side profile. Okay. I don't know. None of these guys have, uh, 
the subway operator. The pilot. Okay. Is that it? Okay, so I guess I'll kill you. You're on the left side. You're on the left side. You're on the left side. You kill one more. The left side. You get to live, you get to live, you get to die, you get to die, you get to die, you get to die. You're a dead man, you're a dead person, you get to live. Okay, there, now they're all on the left side. For whatever reason. That's six, right? Yep. Done, boss. Hope you're back and it's not Lady Poddington anymore. She's kind of rude. I have returned. Did you miss me? Sure, I like a little Great. chat. I'm glad you enjoy our frequent discourse. I think it's called Discord. Just saying. So, okay. Yes. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. But before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. Hmm, where did I place those papers, please? Where are you? Ah, here we go. Right, seems to be correct or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Hmm. Ah, Grim. How should I put it? Oh, no. In essence, you are a solid and dedicated worker. You play by the book. You do what you are told. Yay! There is little to criticize in your conduct, except perhaps for the minor lack of independence. Of course, great care goes into calculating the equilibrium. But is that all that matters? I guess. One might expect at least an inkling of rebellion. Does an autonomous personality hide anywhere within your skull? No. You are dependable, faithful, trusted. Is that all you are content with? Yeah. Now, obviously you are to be granted a small bonus. No one can argue you have not earned it. Keep it up. The ultimate evaluation is in two weeks. Okay. I honestly couldn't tell if he was pleased with me or hated me or what the deal was. Anybody new? Frank, how did it go? I can't speak with Frank. Okay. Back from her booty, are ye? Oh, you know it. <laughs> that fidget spinner! I don't have that much, but... I'm gonna go with the fidget spinner. Well, blow me down, lad! No. Tis the arcane fippledy scoop of some <laughs> wizard whose <laughs> name I ne'er got. All clicks and crackles and bibbles and bops. Found its scale in a tower. Used as a rat trap, the wee buggers couldn't get enough of it. Playing so hard they forgot about frivolous things, like food or sleep. <laughs> Tis a remedy for restless fingers and idle hands. All right. Okay, that is another day, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a break. Um. 
and see what else is going on on my internet because I have no idea. So, as always, like this video, please like, subscribe. If you have any suggestions, comment tips, or comments, put in the comment section below. I'll see you all in the next episode.